Hey guys, welcome back. I'm quickly going to show you a couple more hacks that I found for the 2018 Passat GT for the US market. Uh, the needle sweep, which initially didn't work for my car, is working now. So I'm just going to show you, it's also called instrument cluster celebration. For indicator celebration, select instruments, adaptation, ENG112417 indicator celebration. Make it active. Do it. Yes. Okay. I also thought that I have the, the memory active for the heating seats, but apparently it was only active for 10 minutes. So then I activated the driver's side only. I kept it active forever. But I didn't touch the passenger side because most of the time I'm the only one who's driving. So now let's say if I'm going to set it up for level two, uh, when I'm going to turn off the engine and restart it anytime, uh, the car is itself is basically going to remember the setting that I left for the driver's side. For the passenger side, it's active for only 10 minutes. For driver's seat, hit memory, select auto HVAC adaptation select channel of retention of the driver's seat heat heater level make it active you're going to find it uh, active for 10 minutes if you want to have it uh, you can do it for the driver or the passenger in my case i only did it for the driver and i kept it active do it yes okay and uh, i also deactivated the the door beep so when you open the door or the engine is on, this is not going to beep anymore. But all the other safety features, they stay on. For example, if I want to drive now and the door is open, it does warn me that I have to put the lever to the position of parking. So I have all the safety, other safety features, but except for this one, when I open the door, I don't hear that beep anymore. For the door chime, the beep when the engine is on and you open the driver door. This one I don't quite remember, but it's pretty close. Go and select instruments and the coding you have to look for something, a language or something, Germany. And you have to look for this number 0021061 and select that one. Uh, instead of 0021361. Once you select the numbers, click do it. Yes, okay. For the traction control, I have a video for that, how to install the, the button. I'm gonna put in the description, but this is how it works. You press it once, it's gonna turn the traction control off and also gonna deactivate your front assist also going to deactivate your um, adaptive cruise control if you have one to turn off the stability control you have to turn it back on press once so now the traction control is activated hold it for more than five seconds hold hold now the traction the uh, stability control is off to you so you have the stability control off the front assist is off and the traction control is off you want to go back you just press one more time and uh, everything is activated included your cruise control for the traction control and stability control select ABS brakes coding long coding helper on the line number two you're gonna find a long code C54 B C C0 and uh, the last you have to focus on the last two digit the factory is 1a you have to change those from 1a to 2a 6a or 7a depends on the desired value uh, do it yes okay and now asr is the traction control system that you want to have off when you're drug racing esr it's an electronic stability control that you want to have off when you're drifting, for example. The values are like this. 1A is the factory value, it doesn't do anything. 2A is a single stage. If you quickly press it, it's going to turn off the traction control. 
If you long press it, like holding it for more than five seconds, it's not going to do anything. 6A, it's a double stage. With a quick press, it's going to turn the electronic stability control in sport mode, which is the car is going to apply less braking. With a long pressing, it's going to turn off the traction and the stability control. 7A, again, it's a double stage. With a quick press, it's going to turn off the traction control. And with a long press, it's going to turn off stability control, traction control. It's going to also going to turn off the front assist if your car is equipped to that and the adaptive cruise control.